it's another perfect scene. Catch your all of them this way, this way. It's but you are just uh, the the of the Now you see how beautiful Kenya is. Why? Can you imagine we are experiencing some traffic just because a zebra decides, a giraffe, a giraffe decides we won't close. It stands in the middle of the road. It's now moving. Now maybe the vehicles can move. It was in the middle of the road we couldn't move. There you go. Mr. Zebu, Mr. Giraffe, Ayan. Any time. And at the far, far end, you have so many buffaloes. So many hearts in hundreds, like the ones you find in Nairobi at Nairobi National Park. This is life, and life is good when you have God in it. Uh, this one is so friendly, even looking at me. Oh, and there are many. That's the brother. Look at the way it eats. What do you call this plant? Look at the way it's eating the acacia. It is full of thorns. And can you imagine that huge tongue? It's able to separate the thorns from the leaves. I don't know how God does some of these things, but uh, hey, there are so many here. We can capture the tree, but there are so many inside the bush. The beauty is that this one is friendly. It's even looking at me. It's like a boy. It's like a teenager. They are so many. This is so beautiful at Nakuru National Park. So bye. We just wanted to appreciate you and to watch how your very huge tongue separates the thorns from the very tiny leaves. And when will you get full? Because those leaves are so tiny for you. Look at your sister and your grandpa inside the bushes. Thank you, Mungai, for letting me do this. Watch Lukaime on YouTube, like, share, subscribe, let's do Kenya while it lasts, and then we start doing America. Follow me on Lukaime. That is that for now. Let me see what else I can capture. Another scene, guys, another scene. This time, Mr. Buffalo, Mr. Buffalo. Look at that. Look at him. I hope he won't judge. And the brothers are sleeping, surrounded by many monkeys. Look at this one. Forever eating. It's so hot. It's around one. And the sun is at its peak. These things are just lazing around and grazing around. But at least they are calm. This time they are not blocking us on the road so these are the kind of animals that we are enjoying to be with in the wild today there there this is a herd of buffaloes i think buffalo is one of the big five isn't it it's one of the big five uh giraffe is one of the big five of course, you can see gorillas, baboons, and uh, wildebeest. What a bunk. What a buck. Someone is telling me to say what a buck because I don't <laughs> know the name. Some of us are learning. Thanks, guys. Let's see what we see next. We are on our way back to the hotel in the middle of Nakuru. 
National Park. Like my video, uh, subscribe, hit the notification button and share, share, share so that we can do this together. Here in Kenya while it lasts and then we move together in the US and we see what life got for us there. Don't be left behind. Come along with me. Loving you big time. Look at these guys. These are imparas. These are all boys, teenagers. It's a herd of uh, teenage impalas. They haven't started mating. They are trying to look for a herd. Because one male impara owns a herd of even up to 30 females. And you can't touch each either of those females, even if you are starving yourself to death. That is how, I don't know, it's not ironical, but it is interesting. Why would one impara own a herd of 30 females while 30 other impalas don't even have a girlfriend? Bit logic, man. But why you will tell these are all boys is because they have the horns. All of them. So they are all hoping to hook themselves up to some herd of girls. It's usually next to impossible. Some of them die without ever touching a female. But well, that is about their life. Good. We continue doing this. Ah, nice. We've just ended our trip. Our road trip in the wild, in the bush for today, 24th Sunday, September 2023. And uh, we are now driving back to the hotel. The hotel at the cliff on top of the Nakuru Ranges, overlooking Lake Nakuru. And here we come. Yeah, to maybe enjoy an afternoon at the hotel. It is very hot. We are so lucky to have seen so many in so much in the wild. We Abo. saw the giraffe, Zebra. the zebra, yeah. the lion, the hunts of uh, gazelle. What else did we see? The rhino, the one that was charging at us. The the uh, uh, is it zebra? Zebra kwa wingi sana. The giraffe, Watog. the Watog, impala. the impala, the herd of impala, topi. the topi, the, the that one which baboons. is the baboons, and buffalo. the one that the buffalo, kwa wingi, the one that is in the movie, oh, Pumba, Pumba. Yeah, yeah, what? Pumba, in that cartoon program for the kids. Pumba, and of course the big five. So here we are back at the hotel. The sun is hot in the sky. But yeah, here we are. So guys, this is a beautiful afternoon. We came, you, we have refreshed. It's around uh, 2 p.m. By the way, that is the view of the lake from the tents. My tent is right there. This is my daughter's tent. That is the Lake Nakuru. We are at the Lake Nakuru National Park. And uh, this, we are staying at the cliff. And... What I want to do with my afternoon today, I just want to do some swimming. Haven't been swimming for long. So right there along this uh, pathway is the pool. That is the kitchen and the dining area. All those tents are overlooking the lake. So um, that is the gym, to the gym and to the spa. But I want to swim because the afternoon is hot and I have all the time to myself. I hope America will give me much more than I get in Kenya. Uh, yeah, so I just want to show you the pool because once I get to the pool, 
you will not be able to you will not be able to see me i will not be able to take the sorry i'm obstructed by those people up there but this is the pool i'm not sure if it has does it have a deep end oh it doesn't have a deep end at a shallow end so it's just a place to feel good and to spend my afternoon and to remind myself how it was to swim. I hope my daughter comes. I can see her coming from her tent. There. Oh, somewhere in the woods. She's coming. Thank you. Guys, this is my third day in Lake Nakuru. This is the morning. It is 6 a.m. It is a view of Lake Nakuru and how the sun is setting from the east. Unfolding the light upon the Lake Nakuru. I am taking this breathtaking video <clears throat> on how the morning unfolds at the comfort of my bed. I'm watching the sunset unfolding over the Lake Nakuru at the comfort of my bed. You can imagine this is breathtaking. This is 6 a.m. Me on my bed watching how the morning unfolds and how the rays of the sun touches the Lake Nakuru. You can see the lake is calm and quiet. Yesterday is, it rained heavily and the lake was extremely violent because the wind was so strong. It's a breathtaking view of the sunset unfolding over the Lake Nakuru. It is 6 a.m. Enjoying this view from the comfort of my bed. This can only happen here in Kenya, here at the cliff, the cliff. Go go the cliff in Nakuru. Breathtaking, amazing. We thank God. We praise God with the birds, with the flamingos, with the wild. We bless his holy name. Life is good if you do it with God in it. Good morning, guys. Uh, so, this is indeed a good morning. I think it is now seven o'clock. I'm unfolding the zipper to my tent. That's how you do it. This is the dog. You just do the zip. So I'm undoing the zip. That is like my Vasha just down here. Down here at my tent. Ooh, those are the rays. The sun. I can't even look at that directly. I don't know if we can capture the the sunset, but it's amazing. The Lake Naivash the Lake Nakuru. Even the even the flam flamingos are singing their praises this morning. This is my tent. This one. They came in the morning and they unfolded the bigger tent. Left me with this one. This is my room. This is where I, I work from. That is where they put my drinks. Uh-huh. There, that is the safe. Ooh, I guess this place is for 
minded people when they put a safe in your room as my bed my unkept bed that's the mirror I woke up in the morning and it's so cold so I did put on some very warm jumpers that's how I'm it's the wardrobe where I put my clothes and right here I'm trying to warm some milk before I go to the for breakfast that's the my jacuzzi kinda that is the sunset mm. that's where I take my shower from and that is the toilet and that is my makeup station mm. so I bring all of my makeup that's the blow dry that is my sunscreen that is my toothbrush that is the the mirror just switch it off and then switch it on. Eh, 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 eh. Me, I just hope you didn't see my, my underwear. I don't care. It's only material after all. Look at a bird outside my tent. And that is the sunset. And this is the very, very quiet. Lake Nakuru, right down here, under my nose. This Lake Nakuru, breathtaking. And that is the sunset. Bright. Bright. It's the sunset, man. When you see these kind of things, and then you wonder, who says there's no God? Life is good if you have God in the mix. Good morning, guys. Hi, guys. Today we are watching new things. Manze, that is a booth. Buffery. Buffaro. Buffaro. In the spa. It is taking a mud bath to kill the ticks. It's so hot here. I believe it's also keeping it cool because that is a pit of mud. It is sleeping there. This thing, you go near it, it's yuck. But there it is, keeping calm, enjoying a spa. Imagine if it is you inside that mud in this heat of the sun. Doesn't it feel good? Let me zoom, zoom, zoom. Come closer. Closer. There we go. That is the buffer in the spa. The world spa. You can get anything right here. You just need to be an animal. Like me. Wow! Look at that. This is another day. I told you we are doing brand new things. Yesterday we were here at the Makaria Falls in the Lake Nakuru National Park. It wasn't this violent. Uh, this violence is caused by the rains that came yesterday night. Here it really, really rained. Now that is causing this kind of violence. The waterfall is heavy, heavy. If I throw you there, Manze, You'll be dead meat. Alright guys. Makaria Falls. It's the Nakuru National Park. I want to do a dive. Watch me. In one, two, three. Woo! You see guys, that's an a baby eagle. It's feeding. A while ago, the no, those, those things are called what? The warthog. The warthog were disturbing it. And then they decided they can't eat meat. So they left. This is a baby ego. We found the mother, but the mother left a while ago. So we are waiting for the mother to come back, we see. 
but apparently the mother had a catch for the baby and the baby doesn't really know how to fly so it's just feeding and we are wondering if otherwise will the animals will disturb it you see it's feeding you see very well let me make it even closer get it closer for you to see nice that it's a baby ego for you feeding having it is lunch oh nice nice there you are a baby eagle there I think today it was on a lesson to fly. So the mother keeps leaving it a bit so that it can experience life on its own before the mother release, releases it to the world. Nice. And of course we are having another booth there on a spa. You remember that mud? Although this is another buffalo, but it is also, the sun is hot, so it is also now uh, in a mud pit. And it has been there since morning to just cool itself down. Well, all the other herd of buffaloes is right there. Many buffaloes, many. This is part of the big five. And you can see the ranges up there very high. And Lake Nakuru is somewhere on this other side, but a bit far, where we are coming from. Yeah, there. I've just captured that buffalo. Let me see if we can see it at close range. That is Mr. Buffalo having a spa, enjoying a spa. Hi, guys. I told you today we are experiencing new things. Here we are at the baboon cliff. This is the highest point of uh, Lake Nakuru National Park. It's called the baboon cliff. And from here, you have a perfect view of the Lake Nakuru. This is the topmost point of the lake. So I'll show you how the the lake is di displayed from above. Eh? Here we are. Here we go. Uh -huh. That is the lake. Those are the flamingos swimming through. Those are the boat if you want to have a boat ride. But we have so high up, very high up, capturing the entire of the lake Nakuru from the highest peak. Man, this is lovely. So I want to come closer and show you the cliff. That is the watchtower. You can watch the lake from there. So here we are at the highest peak. There we are. There we are. There we are. I hope my phone doesn't fall. But... more like it. If you can see, lock, rocks, rocks, rocks. Down there we have the boat rides down there. And then after the rocks, we have the forest below there. And then after the forest, we have the lake spreading all the way. And we also have the flamingos there taking a swim and then we have the lake spreading all the way all the way from here i can see the entire of the lake Nakuru. and on that end is the nakuru town very far guys we've been driving the whole day we've been driving the whole day to get here although we went and we watched the animals like i showed you so, this is the tower. I'm at the tower right now. I want you to experience with me the rocks. This is steep. But we have baboons sleeping under these rocks. Underneath the rocks, uh, it's a forest. A huge, thick, big forest. 
that I am seeing from above. So I'm capturing that forest from above. And then immediately after the rocks, there is the forest, and then there is the lake. It is that there where you see the dry woods. And we can even see under there the flamingos. I wouldn't want my phone to fall, but this is so beautiful. So many flamingos. And there we have the boats for those people who love doing the boat rides. There, guys, there, guys. If my phone falls, we are done. We are doomed. We are doomed. The rocky patch, rocky patch, rocky patch. The trees, forest after the very steep rocky patch, then spreading like a table is the lake. So let us recognize the work that only God could do, the work of creation. Life is good only when you believe in God and when you have God in it. I'm just entering into the tower, going even higher. Oh my God. This is the lake right below my nose. However, it is far under and below. Beautiful scenery, beautiful scenery. Man, hope you can see those flamingos down there and the boats down there and uh, the uh, forest and then the Nakuru town down there. The Nakuru town down there. Very far, many kilometers away. It's beautiful. And I hear right under my nose, this massive forest. Massive forest. But just right under my nose. And you can see some poo here. So I don't know which animal was here last night. But I can see some poo at this watchtower. It's some animal poo. So this is very steep. Going down below into the forest. Catching the lake right there. Lake Nakuru National Park. Those are the flamingos. Man, they are flowing with the wind. That one goes, that one goes, that one goes. Flamingos, flamingos. And then we have a view of the boat. Down below for those people who may want a boat ride. That is how my day is like today. <laughs>